So everybody loves these guys. They're called Aram lilies. Sometimes it's called a Kala lily or Kala lily. But we know them as beautiful Arams. And they really are impressive plants to have. So we're going to give you a few tips on how to keep these little babies alive and show you a bit about the working and why they work. So the cool thing is when you get these guys from builders is that, is that they come in this lovely little pot cover as well. So in here, if we pull this out, here's the plant, all right, in its normal black pot. And this is your little container with its water well inside. Be careful, folks, when you're watering it, like with all indoor plants, rather take it, water it in a basin, put it into the bath, give it a good watering, let the water drain through, and then take it and put it back in here. Because if you just continue watering, what happens is this water has got nowhere to go. And your base just keeps filling up and filling up. Eventually it will emerge beyond that and it'll actually kill the plant. So please, that is a note to self to do all the time. If you do that properly, your plant will live a long, happy life. I wanna take this guy apart so that you can understand the mechanism of how these plants work. Now, beautiful white roots, healthy root system, that's what I love to see. And when I give it a bash, I'm gonna show you where this journey all started. And there is the bulb, do you see that? And if I break that off there, you can see that all of these, all of these shoots have emerged from one bulb. And that is the beauty of this plant, because when you've got a plant with a bulbous root system like this, if you look after it, and when this guy's finished flowering on the patio in your home, you take it and you plant it in the garden, because then it's gonna die down naturally, follow its natural process, shoot up again, and give you flowers. So the process just continues year after year. And what happens is in the second year that this big guy makes babies and it has little bulblets. Now, how do you look after these guys? Well, when you've got one, what it needs to be is in bright light. It can actually take a bit of morning sun, but please avoid that hot, hot afternoon sun. What is important is feeding the plant. So when you have one of these guys, I'd like you to use some 316 plant food. Very easy to use. You simply use the little measuring gadget that you get inside here. Follow the instructions, pop that into your watering can, mix it in well, and then water your plants. And of course, you can use this for most plants. It'll improve flowering, it'll improve leaf growth, so it really is a nice, good all-rounder. Okay, really nice and easy, how to look after it. What happens when it stops flowering? What happens when I'm just left with leaves? Well, there are a couple of options. Number one, we can transplant it into a bigger pot because it's got a bulb, so we know it's gonna carry on for the next generation. And this is what we're gonna use. And you can use this as a standard mixture for bulbs if you're buying them from your local builders or from a plant that's growing as a bulb already. What we've got is this gorgeous stuff here. This is called palm peat, one block, add in five liters of water, and look how it grows, and it just sucks up all the water, breaks up to form this beautiful husk. I and mean, I love this stuff. It's perfect for germinating seeds in it. It's great to use with potting soil, and holds all the moisture, and it also aerates potting soil, which is what we need with good drainage in bulbs. What we're gonna do first of all is in my truck, I'm gonna add a bit of potting soil, and we're just gonna add some of this to it, about a third of this, to make up a good mixture, and in the pot it goes. What I am also gonna add is some Humigrow, which is a good carbon, pure carbon element into the soil. What it does, Humigrow improves how the nutrition is taken up in your plant, in your soil. Mix this up nicely. So what we need in the base of our pot that's got some good drainage holes is to add in a bit of drainage pebbles. Remember that just helps with the percolation of the soil and also most importantly, stops the soil from dribbling out here. So every time you lift up your pot, you don't leave a bit of potting soil behind. A little bit of potting soil, we're not adding too much in because, I'm gonna show you exactly why. So we're only filling the pot up to about halfway. All right, firm it down. What I've done is I've got the plant here and I'm just teasing and opening the root system just a little bit. 
just open up. The reason why we do this is because sometimes the plants actually become confused. So you can see why I've only filled the pot up halfway is because when I pop this baby in, there we go. Look at the level. When I put my hand in, you just can't see the top of my hand because that means I'm going to fill it up here with some of my mixture. All right. Take the back end of your trowel, firm it down, and you can see my soil level is still when I put my hand in, you still just can't see my hand. And that's important because when you're watering it, the water then doesn't just spill over the edges, the water actually stays, the lip of the pot forms a little well, and then the water sucks into where it really matters the most. It really looks, it looks gorgeous. It's classy, it's fantastic. This plant is gonna go on and flower and flower for three months, remember, if you've gotten the right spot. If this plant is dying back because it's a bulb, all bulbs need to go to sleep at some point. They are deciduous. Some of them stop flowering. They will just create green leaves and then stop flowering. So if it is finished flowering and you've put it into a pot as transplanting for its next generation, then you can go and put it out in the garden somewhere where it can enjoy dappled shade, early morning sun, not that hot afternoon sun. It'll die back down and it'll go to sleep completely. You just carry on watering as normal and then Soon as things warm up, out comes the plant, will start shooting and give you gorgeous flowers. So guys, there you have it. That's how to look after your colored arum lily bulbs. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. Also go to our Builders SA YouTube channel where you can find out more about summer bulbs, winter bulbs, and how to look after them so that you can get the most out of them. But this, guys, is a winner.